program that strives for high-level success. And so losses, even with good excuses, are not acceptable to this North Carolina FC side. Meanwhile, Richmond currently rocking a... As we go down the right side here, here's JT Kamara. Getting himself inside the 18, trying to get through that Richmond back line, but he's unable to do so. Loosen up. Richmond came out with some new guidelines for their games here today. This ball gets switched over to the left side. Richmond on the attack, has numbers inside the box. This ball is gonna be crossed a little bit too high, and it'll sail all the way over the 18 for one, showing some dangerous threats on both sides of the pitch from the left and the right. Definitely better than some of the danger they're opposing against Madison. Much better connecting, much better passing. Uh, brand new to the USL League One. And he said that as frustrating as it is, the mistakes in those games were avoidable as Richmond looks to attack here. Got a couple of men going forward. This cross will go inside and it'll sail over everyone's head and out for a goal kick. But as John Bradford was saying, has been an intriguing watch thus far. JT Kamara is able to get it out and then slip as West Virginia, or sorry, Richmond. That was a weird slip right there as JT Kamara will take it down the pitch. See if he can improve from the previous, the one that didn't even make it into the front of play. This one goes inside and will be headed out by Monticelli. So it will be another corner. Pearson will give it over to his right for Nelson Martinez. out for a North Carolina throw, much to the distaste of traveled up to Madison, Wisconsin to show some support for their team last weekend, which is just an amazing thing to see happen again. Also roommates with JT Kamara, who is also in the starting lineup here today. Here's Bolaños, down the left-hand side. He'll flick it back with his outside foot. This one gets crossed in. Here's Bolduck, top of the 18, and his shot will get deflected. It's going to spill almost into the goal, but Jake McGuire is able to pick up the pieces last second. 31 years old, 5'7", from Rio. That's 11 years of professional soccer experience. Richmond trying to hold possession here to start the second half of action. And then we're going to get a foul on Malik Mbai, just getting a little bit too aggressive. Sirius XM FC channel 157 on your Sirius XM radio and the Sirius XM app. Now here's Richmond going down the other way, just quite loses the ball, and Juan Pablo Monticelli is on the ground. Vignoles now. couple of times. He's got Monticelli in the wing. He crosses it inside, and this one's got to get headed away. But danger is not yet averted here. That's a great ball from Vignoles. Sets this one inside. A couple of heads on it, and it sails over. Richmond getting closer and closer and taking hold of this one. Give me a time-wasting warning here. Now we're gonna get our substitution here. Looks like the veteran can definitely do North Carolina FC proud and the Richmond area proud as a Ram alumni. Monticelli will win himself a corner. Couple more minutes here before the final whistle. Is there a goal hiding in this game? Both, both teams have shown promise of it, so I Gonzalez is at the top and Terzaghi has been pulled back. Have to keep an eye on that to see if that's a permanent change. And too much physicality for the refs liking. And first off, for the Chattanooga Red Wolves, they need to be stout on defense. This is a uh, disciplined Richmond team, and they got to make sure that they hold tight and wait for the mistake to come and not try to force themselves. Love that kind of energy from one of your players. 
and he was rewarded for that perseverance all across the league. It's great to see just people back supporting the beautiful game. Try to progress it down the right side, and it will be a Chattanooga throw, and they're going to try to catch Richmond off guard. Here's Frischnick inside the 18, and it's going to be tapped out by Magalea. <laughs> Bodies are flying around. It's definitely some... There's some reckless play here and there. There's Ricketts now. He's going to switch to Espana. Espana has some space. The Red Wolves, definitely not the start they were looking for here to start the second half. And Richmond, that's a way to change the tone after how everything panned out in the first 45. To Seacoast United and New England Revolution's U23 team in USL2. A couple of little stops he made before. Nil Vignoles now. Gets a little tripped up, but he's able to keep his footing. This one crosses in. Still in the air. Knocked around a couple times. Here's Monticelli. He brings it down. Alex Anderson collects it. To go to tough venues is just part of the experience, something you have to get under your belt if you want to keep moving up in the soccer world of your Chattanooga Red Wolves. Juan Pablo Monticelli will throw it in. Today. Right back to him. His cross will get deflected. It's collected by Espana. But you could see these opportunities and these attempts getting fainter and fainter with promise. And Laura Moore falls on it. And now we've got some extracurriculars away from the ball. And the Red Wolves just have to kill out the rest of this time and walk away with three points. And once again, it's a Richmond kicker, and that's a way to get that started. But the narrative has been for the past six games that that was the result of that, but they have to press on and do better about possession in that last 10 minutes, because those are obviously very crucial moments of the game. And to not have the ball for any of it is worrisome. Virginia for UVA, so. And now we're going to get a corner kick for. This one's knocked around. This one's tipped in, saved off the crossbar. And this one will go out for a goal kick. Oh my goodness, Brad Knighton in traffic that is also difficult to do the ball's just scampering around and Falk with the shot if he could have just gotten a little underneath and that cross is addressed by Monticelli plan to save 50 percent off match day tickets access to special events and exclusive digital content 15 percent off merchandise and more Subscribe now at richmondkickers.com slash kickers plus. And now we're going to get a swinging left hand corner kick for Richmond. It's a nice little ball headed on bottom left corner, right corner, pardon me, but Richmond has taken the lead once again. Juan Pablo Monticelli with his second of the season. Need more than one goal? Here you go. That's a wonderful ball there from Vignoles. And that's textbook stuff from the defender, Juan Pablo Monticelli, the El Paso native. And that's just wonderful work. We'll get a foul here. It'll be a free kick for New England. A little uninvolved in this game thus far. Had that great pass to Bolaños at the very beginning of the match to set him up on his run to then roll it into the inside for Bolduck to capitalize off of. Falk's been a very involved member of the team throughout the season, has played in all seven games if you count this one. The whole routine of traveling as well because they have to learn how to eat properly, 
how to sleep in a bed that's not theirs, and all those fun things. And Bullduck gets it down to the right channel. Passed it to the top. That's a good little touch. Here's Nelvinios again, tapped inside Terzaghi. He's able to get the third goal of the season. The Golden Boot winner from 2020 has done it again. And no one there to receive it, though. Monticelli decides to give it a look himself, but that one's going to sail off target. Now moving forward is Richmond once again, just stepping on every pass. Doesn't seem like it's one. One of those names is not one you're going to like seeing making his way onto the pitch, especially when you're already down two goals. Here's Bulldog. Started losing possession in the final 10 or so minutes of the game, and that's something that they're going to have to fix. It's obviously something they're going to not allow happen here if they're going to fire back into this one. Here's a chance for him, and it's deflected away, and it'll go out for a corner. Can they do it here? That's not a bad ball. It scuffles around a little bit, and Olex Anderson will escort this one out himself. And now he's setting it forward for Vignals, who is, here's an opportunity. Sprinting down the right side, squared away, and just spills around. Sirakowski can't quite connect a shot off of that. And look at that, six more. That's plenty of time for New England to find an equalizer. Gotta get a little clued in there, Michelle, the 19-year-old, just losing his cool there. No, not the best decision by him. But here he is now. Richmond continues to get their body, their foot on these crosses, these passes. To forge their way through against a Richmond side that has come out matching forward Madison's energy thus far. And three blue jerseys around Bolaños that time. Terzaghi's not always the Gebhard, sweet feet. Carried away by Chrysler, brought back down by Gebhard. But it looked very similar. And Darren says he wants Bolaños to believe that I'm the pro. I'm the ascending guy. I can start to. do well to win it back here. Now they need to make something of it. Had no shot. Jonathan Bolaños' shot is blocked. Suko is going the wrong way. Gebhard hounded by Monticelli and done so. Asked Carl Craig if he had a prediction for Euro 2020, of course, him being originally from England. He says, other than England, uh, Italy is the team that I picked in our team pool. Gebhard trying to turn. having the 1-0 advantage as this ball gets lobbed to Bolaños. Luckily, that's well handled by Freddy Sosa from behind. It's still Richmond ball in the attacking third. They'll quickly reset. Here's JP Monticelli. 
and that one just slices off his foot, gifting a goal kick to Rashid Nuhu. This ball knocked around a little bit. The upper hand of the possession battle, Union Omaha, the only ones that have really shown anything on the attacking side. All by himself on the left-hand pitch. Lob this one forward and Richmond will deal with it. And at this moment, the top of the table looks to continue to hold its lead on the league. There's still 45 more minutes in Richmond, Virginia. And Richmond also have a couple players that are still trying to get themselves back on the starting 18 after some injuries. And he also said that their goal right now in this early part of the season is to incrementally get better game by game. And he believes that Richmond have been able to do that so far this season outside one or two bumps in the road, namely when he pointed out the loss at Chattanooga against the Red Wolves a couple weeks ago. There's Ferretti Sosa. I'd venture to guess the guy who's probably had possession of the ball the most out of anybody on the pitch here today. Let's see what Juan Pablo Monticelli can do here. Brushes away a cone. A lot of air under that one. One of many that they've created here in the first 20 minutes of the second half. Zach Moran. Not a bad ball. And it goes over the crossbar. Ali Hodzic, well handled by Magalhaes. Doesn't let him get past him. Now Boyce tries to chip it in. No, nothing there for him. And this one will go all the way across the pitch to Rashid Nuhu. Now it's his turn to rocket this one forward. Skiers heads it to Boyce. Asbi Abadawi, Robbie Crystal, Martina was out, Pekka was out. Damian Loss was out. I mean, nine players. And then he said, in practice, there's no way they can, not even close, but John Bradford said he was willing to give it a go, and they've got to ride him. Ariaga, drop it back to Martinez. They look to get it into Simpson, and Magalhaes knocks it away. I mean, environments for all fans, players, employees, and partners. Learn more at uslsoccer.com slash forward forever hyphen proud. And only fitting tonight on Pride Night here at Wakeman Soccer Park where Richmond has a 1-0 lead and trying to add to it. And North Carolina FC. Richmond dropped down a few years ago. North Carolina FC making the strategic move to do it this year. And because of that, they renewal this rivalry that has been special. That's Flick that stays in bounds. Will Butte. Part of the academy program's got a broken leg at the moment. And embellishing just a little bit, North Carolina FC will keep it. Comes on for Cameron Vickers, and it looks like Darren Swatsky's gonna make a few more changes now with his team now trailing. Sent back in. And this is where see if North Carolina FC has what it takes to close it out. Washington, of course, Darren Sawatsky with those ties to Pacific Northwest. So now it's about Austin looking at what kind of shape they're going to be in as well. Richmond down a goal and down a man. Yeah, not, definitely not advocating getting, <laughs> getting sent off, but it's just that type of game, right, where you just have to make something happen, whether that's you know, getting in somebody's face, you know, getting stuck in on a tackle. Cole Frame, he is a handful. Here in high school, getting ready to come on. That's what it's all about. And Farrell whistled there for the foul. His bold up goes down. Coming in, number 37 games for Marquette, scoring nine goals and telling seven assists. This is dangerous, oh my, cleared out of there. Far 
far side by the youngster Fisher. Fisher saving the day on the foul post. Oh my goodness. And Richmond in the red. The traditional home red North Texas in the white shirts and red socks. Speaking of South Georgia Tormenta, former Tormenta player himself. Turn over there by JP Monticelli. Kamungo there at center forward with Ryo and Kazoo. Kazu on either side of him. Falk. Horny. Go back to Falk. JP Monticelli. He's dispossessed. Good work though. Force the throw in here. Here's Kamungo. Monticelli, but it's great work by Kamungo. That's clumsy from Monticelli, and referee Fate is going to have a word with the left back. Not the first time he's been beaten for pace this evening. A couple of goals this season from Monticelli. Captain OCB a couple of times, and that will be a yellow card. Maria Ramirez is normally more of a midfielder, but. Second like start at center back. It's Falk's going to take one from half. Long distance. Good save by Shuttler. It was a comfortable height, but he had to get over quickly. And that's a goal. Emiliano Terzaghi doing what he does. How did he get that one in? I'm sure we'll get a look on the replay, but no matter. Richmond have tied things up here. Take another look at this one. Falk with the long distance. It was a good shape by Shuttler. Perhaps should have held on to it. Monticelli put it back in. And oh, cheeky stuff from the Argentine. A little back flick. Oh, gorgeous finish by the veteran. Here's Pavone. Zaka Moran. 